Good evening. I'm Glenn Schilling, headmaster at Detroit Country Day School. Welcome to Meet the Faculty Night. The purpose of this evening is for you as parents to be able to put a name together with faces and people here at Country Day. Our faculty, the best faculty anywhere in America. I'd like to take a moment of your time this evening before you meet your, your children's teachers to share with you where we are with our strategic plan and also ask you to participate in survey information that's coming up as we proceed into our Isaacs evaluation and uh, renewing of our strategic plan. There are four critical issues in our strategic plan. The first, the Country Day experience, an exceptional one we seek to make for all of the participants, especially our students. We're guided by a principle we call meeting the needs of our children first. Seven simple words, it guides everything we do in our school. Second one is fiscal stability. Back in the 1990s, 95 and 98 in particular, we took out two major loans, uh, bond payments that we have had to make. And I'm very, very pleased to say that the $2 million and $10 million uh, bond payments will be paid off fully as of October 1st, you know, a little over a week from today. Uh, Basically, Detroit Country Day School will be debt-free. All of the construction we've been doing, which goes into the third critical issue, that is philanthropic support, uh, uh, all of the building we've been doing, the growing of our endowment, has been done with cash. We're very pleased to say that we've been uh, able to continue to meet the challenge of our major anonymous donor uh, who put up a $25 million challenge grant. The, uh, support from our donors and from our families has been tremendous. Uh, I'm about to send a 32-page spreadsheet of you know, contributions towards this campaign. Uh, we are very, very excited about uh, where we are as a school, especially as uh, so many schools have been cutting programs. Detroit Country Day School has been growing programs in large part because of your support as parents and the support we've had from, from donors. The fourth area, uh, fourth critical issue, is leadership and governance. We have uh, made you know, great strides in terms of making sure that we are meeting our children's needs by making sure that our faculty are you know, the ones who are guiding and directing our curriculum. So we've established a curriculum leadership council led by faculty, 14 different academic discipline and program areas in the school happier with the way that is progressing. And thank you very much for coming this evening. It's my privilege to introduce to you Julie Bianchi, director of our middle school, uh, who will take you on a trip that you'll truly enjoy. Thank you. Welcome to Detroit Country Day Middle School. We're so glad you're here tonight for Meet the Faculty Night. You know, tonight we're going to talk about being in the middle and what that means. Going from the safe harbors of an elementary school all the way to the independence of an upper school education. And what that's about is building a bridge, step by step, skill by skill, methodically building a bridge and preparing our students for the next step. What we're going to talk about soon is the support structure that has to be in place for the bridge the intellectual engineering that takes place, and finally, the goal, where we want to be at the end. In the next few minutes, I'm going to address those. Let's go inside. You provide much of the support from home, and we work to partner with you to provide the support from school. Through updates in my backpack, programs like our after-school tutorials, feedback from faculty, care from advisors, and leadership and guidance from our deans, the foundation of support is strong. Tonight, you will meet the engineers behind the bridge, our master teachers who continually work to hone the art of teaching by balancing best practices with the traditional three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic, while integrating technology to create engaging lessons that are both relevant and age appropriate. This faculty strives to move our students forward, step by step, always keeping their eyes on the goal. The goal is reaching the other side by being prepared for the upper school and demonstrating the abilities that make up what is now known as the portrait of a country day student. 
The ideas behind the portrait are drawn directly from 21st century skills with the purpose of creating intelligent problem solvers, flexible, open-minded collaborators who can adapt to various situations and show leadership and resourcefulness. It took over three years to develop the portrait and involved input from the entire Country Day faculty, creating a common goal for all of our teachers and students. In the middle school, our challenge was to devise a plan to systematically approach learning and teaching to incorporate the portrait, a way to record student demonstrations of abilities in these areas, and create a communicative tool to impart progress and share goals. Thus, iSpace was born. iSpace is a digital portfolio that will be used by students to capture moments of achievement and growth within the elements of the portrait. Each teacher has drawn connections from lessons and assessments directly to the elements of the portrait, which helps to ensure intentional, meaningful learning experiences. Advisors will provide feedback at the end of each goal about what your child has demonstrated during that marking period. The portrait and iSpace will be displayed and discussed at each conference this year. iSpace is now our vehicle in making meaningful strides in building our bridge and preparing our students best for the upper school. Thank you again for joining us tonight. It is our pleasure to welcome you into our school to get a feel for what the energy of a middle school day is really like. Every year, one of my favorite things to hear is when parents say, I wish I could take that class, or I want to go to school here. I hope at some point that thought crosses your mind as well. Have a great night, and thank you again for coming.